Okay, everyone, it's Jane here for 44 Tarot. Let's take a look here and see what do we need to know at this time, okay? Just going to pull a few cards from this deck. And we're going to roll with it. Ooh. Wow, is this my song deck? Oh, yeah, these are mostly the songs. But it's mixed up, so. Mm. Let me get one more here. Because two songs came out. One is Tyrone and Incapable. Wow. Get one more. This is going to be interesting. Get one more. Oh, two came out. Need for control, backstabbing family and co workers. <laughs> wow. All right. This is going to be interesting. So, somebody is saying you better call Tyrone. And help you come on, help you get your shit. Um, and then incapable, it's time to grow up. I've embarrassed myself enough because I wouldn't leave you. So somebody feels like someone is very immature. Someone feels like they have put up with more than enough with someone. If you know the song Incapable by Keisha Cole, she said, you know, my friends keep telling me to leave you. She said, now nobody's going to even really believe me or help me because I done called on my family so many times and took you back. You got me out here looking like a fool. So you may feel like somebody's got you looking crazy out here with with the way they act. They could be, you know, out here hanging out with their friends, doing whatever out here in these streets and, you know, just leaving you on the back burner, making you pay for everything, not supporting you, not you know, being there for you, not even showing up in a relationship the way they should. And then on top of that, have a need to be in control. But it seems like they don't have control of their, their own self or control of their own life. And this person here could have backstabbing family members and co-workers that, that they probably put above you. And you're probably the most consistent thing in their life. And they're backstabbing you for other people who are betraying them. All right. So let's get into it. Let's see what's going on here um, in the collective here. Let's see what happened and where it's going. What happened here with this situation? Somebody said, call Tyrone. Help him come on, let you get your shit, however it goes. So in the past, someone took a risk to ward someone, okay? Someone took a chance. Um, there was a new beginning, and I feel like with Stay Away to Light, this could have been a connection that was supposed to elevate someone, that was supposed to help guide someone towards uh, a, um, a positive way of thinking, a positive way of living here, okay? This is the past energy. Like, this this looked like a good idea. I feel like someone at one point was inspired by another person. Or someone was very inspirational to another person. Okay? Let me get one more for the past. I feel like somebody felt that they were guided towards someone to take this chance. All right, and I feel like it may have been a decision that maybe one person was a bit hesitant about making, okay, because there are opposing ideas. There were different belief systems here is what I'm getting in this situation. Currently, where it seems as though this is where the breakup, the um, someone feeling that another person is incapable of change. Yeah, you got the Queen of Cups. To the nine of swords so there is a queen of cups could be pisces cancer scorpio aries leo sag involved in this situation along with air um aquarius libra gemini there is someone here who's deciding they need to focus on themselves because they give too much love to someone they they've been loving they've been nurturing they've been very positive and balanced in someone's life and it's throwing them off with the nine of nine of wands okay so someone is starting to feel as though um, something is taking too much of their energy, too much of their time. The Nine of Wands is someone, Nine of Wands, 
wounded warrior is somebody here is taking a stand for themselves and feeling as though someone is just become too much or something has become too much and they can they're trying to push through it they're trying to deal with it but there's always one thing after another if i'm looking at this nine of wands here and she's sitting here at this computer that i mean she's at She's on the laptop, so some of you could you know, like work from home because she looks like she may be in the office or she may be at home. I don't know. Maybe in the office. But anyway, she's got all these demands here that she's got to complete. It says urgent, not complete, work request, two out of five. So something's just not getting done here. And it's like somebody here put in all this effort and energy and love and time and nurturing a situation. But it seems like the goalpost, or I think it's called the goalpost, continues to keep being moved. And it's like something is just not ever getting complete here. Give me one more for what's currently going on. Actually, I'm going to just ride it out. What's currently going on? Because I think we kind of see where it's leading to. So somebody here is like burdened with the situation because they feel like, you know what, something here has to change. Ace of Swords, someone's starting to see the truth about it. Like, you know what, this is just a lot. Someone could have been, could be hoping for a breakthrough. The death card is coming out here. <clears throat> but with the Ace of Swords, someone here, I feel has communicated their thoughts, have communicated what's bothering them and they're at this point now where they're ready to stand their ground you know and fight back and really focus on themselves like you know what I, this isn't working someone could be looking for a new job someone could be just looking for new opportunities in their life somebody could be just trying to focus on their success at this time and their happiness because something here in their personal life just seems to be too much to deal with here all right, and this could be both people feeling this way. I don't know, but let's just say death card. So someone knows that something has to change, that there has to be a transformation, you know, that will of fortune. And there it is. There's a change. There's a sudden change of events. All right, somebody here decides that it's time for them to go towards something that's more promising, something that is positive and um this is what they're doing this is what they're doing this will of fortune is something turning around for someone good luck change destiny this is also you know someone closing out a, a karmic cycle something ending so that there can be a new beginning because someone is feeling like you know there's no change dealing with this person and in the beginning there was hope how did this other person feel in the beginning? I feel like someone has always been a fool. It's just that someone didn't see it. They were blinded by, by being so positive and uplifting. They didn't realize that this person here was foolish from the beginning. And that's for some of you. Like this person here. Shit, they got a helmet on. Come on now. Eight of coins. So in the beginning, this person was was putting in some effort or they wanted the situation to work as well. Okay. How did they show up in the connection in the beginning? I feel like somebody thought at one point that this might be a good idea too. Uh, -uh Seven of Wands with the Three of Cups. Mm -mm. See, somebody wanted someone to work. What? So this person may have been putting in some effort in the beginning to work on a situation, but they also set up these boundaries with the person who they said that they wanted to work on, work with because they were still celebrating with other people. Seven of Wands, Three of Cups. Let's clarify the Three of Cups. Yeah, that's that Tyrone. Like you, your friends, your family... It's like somebody set boundaries with someone and basically stopped working on the situation because they were so busy focusing on other people, other situations. What's the three of cups? So this quickly changed. I'm, I'm not getting that this was a slow, gradual change. 
page of cups to the empress. <sighs> yeah, somebody was dealing with the page. Someone who's very childish. Look at this page. I mean, this he's just sitting. I mean, he's a kid. And he's just excited to be looking at the fish. Somebody could be a water sign. But um, just... So maybe someone was just excited that they caught the, the empress, that they got the empress's attention. Because there are some boundaries. The seven of wands is somebody being protective, protecting themselves, guarding themselves. So somebody w wanted to put in work, but there was lim it was limited. It was like there were boundaries in the beginning because maybe someone didn't want someone to maybe um, it's making me feel like somebody didn't want someone to like interfere with their friendships, their their social life, family, ten of cups is out, ten of coins is out here. This uh they didn't want someone to interfere with their friendship circle or something like that. Some type of boundary. But page of cups, empress, and ten of coins, I mean someone clearly at one point saw someone as very valuable for some reason or another but they are if they're a page they're coming out as as childlike unless somebody has a child with this person married this person built a family with this person only to find out that it's just too much of a burden to get this person to boss up what is the burden here because that's what i'm feeling what's the current burden in this situation the page of sword. This person is immature. Damn. So the past situation, this person was coming out as a fool in the page of cups. That wanted to work on something with an empress. But set boundaries when it came to. Um, certain things. Because I don't feel like they stopped. With the three of cups there because Tyrone wouldn't be out here. This person was hanging out, reuniting with friends and all of that. But I feel like they were cool with the relationship in the past as long as they were able to do what it is that they wanted to do. Currently, they're still showing up as this page of sword who is now un under judgment. Like this, you're now, somebody's now looking at this situation to make a final decision. You know, this person could be flashy, like lots of attention. Someone's sick of it here. Okay, so what's going to happen? What's coming up soon with the coming to this situation? I didn't really hesitate on the... I mean, I really didn't try to rush into the future because I can clearly see that somebody is sending someone a packing. Somebody's letting someone go. They're like, you better call Tyrone. I'm not doing anything else for you. Where are those friends that you keep running to, you know, that are betraying you, you're betraying me, it's like call those people to help you because I'm not I'm not gonna do it. All right, what's taking place here in the future position? Knight of Swords, somebody here coming in to play again. What's the Knight of Swords? Three of Coins. This is this is somebody here wanting to um work together all right there could also be an air sign that wants to come in and collaborate work with you or it's the same person what's what's coming in some of you are dealing with a very immature nine of coins in reverse this is um somebody here who's giving you a false sense of security. This could also be someone who is a workaholic. Someone could be experiencing losses. Okay. This is someone who also, you know, they don't have it together. They could 
become very codependent. So some of you, you know, this, this energy is coming in as a knight. They go from a page to a knight wanting to work with you, but that's, it seems as though they're experiencing some losses, some setbacks or something, and they may still be trying to get you to help them out. Higher and in reverse, temperance in reverse. The higher and in reverse, this is lack of commitment here. This is, I'm not going to be able to commit to this. I'm not going to be able to put in, um, one second here. Yeah, this is someone who's like not going to conform. They're not going to conform to tradition, to a, a, a traditional relationship. The temper is in reverse. This person is still emotionally immature. They need to heal. They need. They lack patience. They want to come in and, and rush in to try to um, keep this connection. But this is lack of balance. This person is impatient and they're overindulgent. They could have some type of... Um, this person could be addicted to the fast life. They could be addicted to something here that with the that involves these these friends, something that they all do together, you know? This is where that person drew the line with you, and I keep hearing that. There's the devil, yeah. This person is it has too many toxic connections. So they're uncommittal. They're not gonna commit. Alright. So whoever this is, this is who you're you're letting go. They want to control you. They have an obsessive, addictive energy that they will fly off the handle when they don't get their way. And they have backstabbing family and co-workers who are already, you know, betraying them or lying behind their back or something that's going on with that. So this person could be experiencing losses at the hands of people around them who maybe they were loyal to who now they're realizing wasn't loyal to them and they could be going through um the emperor in reverse see my my deck is not in reverse yeah <clears throat> this this person could be losing their damn mind here they could be going through um hold on guys yeah they could have lost their power or position of power they could be losing a position of power and with some type of establishment this could be a loss of a job eight of swords and they're feeling lost and restricted and i feel like when this person comes around to you you know your attitude is that you better call these people who you were supporting at a time where i ate of cups yep you better go find somebody else to do it i'm not doing it Go find, look, this person's phone is ringing and they running out. This person could have been like that towards you. Every time the phone rang, they take off to go be with their friends or, you know, they could have just neglected the connection with you and put everything else before you only to find out that these people who they were putting before you were betraying them. So now they want control of their life, but they're coming out as the emperor in reverse. Things are not panning out too well for this person and this is in the future position so this may not have happened yet from what i'm getting the high priest i feel like your intuition is telling you or there's something that someone may try to hide from you and let and not want you to know that things around them are going to shit very quick all right so for you who is releasing this because you see that this person needs to grow up and that you're tired of being embarrassed by their antics um let's pull from the monology and see what your message is here hold on to your vision hold your vision for what it is that you want when it comes to love and how you see your future hold on to that if this person doesn't fit the image the vision that you have for your life and i mean image as far as looks but if this person doesn't fit the vision that you have for your life, then you know that this is not your person. You know, this is not for you. All right. So stick to what it is that you really want. Meditate and contemplate because there's a win-win outcome in the forecast for you. Okay. This is what I have for you guys. If it resonates, leave it in the comments and I'll see you soon.